all these points. Yes, Judy. If I may, the main thing you have to do on appeal in Italy is say that the law, Italian law, has been wrongly applied. You cannot re-argue the case. It's very much like in the United States. Appeals have to be, have to say, look, the law wasn't followed. I think for a lot of us to learn and be told that this is a cultural difference in the it courtroom. Is. What is the difference here culturally? You have said, don't get in trouble in Italy. You do right. not well, want to be in a courtroom in Italy. What do you mean? I, li I lived in Italy four and a half years, and the one thing you find out is that although constitutionally, theoretically, the individual is innocent until proven guilty, in reality, that is not the case. The presumption of innocence does not exist in Italian courts. If you are accused, you will very likely get convicted if it goes far enough. The moment they sent Amanda Knox for over a year to jail before her trial, um, I sort of figured they were intent on finding her guilty and she didn't have a chance. And there's another aspect to it, which is she's an outsider. If you are an outsider, particularly a foreigner, you don't know a lot of famous, powerful people, you are sunk. It's but more so than in Italy than the United States. Particularly American. Ted, do you think this is anti-Americanism? I, I would focus much more on the lack of evidence. It's both compelling and profound in this case. The real problem here was an enormous and an avalanche of negative pretrial publicity combined with an enormous amount of ca negative character assassination. And when those two meet, it's virtually impossible to overcome the scant evidence that existed. You might say, were we surprised at this verdict? You can't say we were surprised given the set and setting of what happened. But again, you know, the evidence was, was really scant. Judy, anti-Americanism? That is classic uh, Italian way of doing business, though. You are first tried in the press. And in this instance, Amanda Knox was not only tried in the Italian press, but because the victim was British, she was tried in the British press. And both media found her totally guilty. Jurors are not sequestered in Italy. They are allowed to talk to the press, read the press, do anything they want to do. And some of them said they found her guilty long before the trial was over. From what you know, Judy, of the Italian court system, I know you speak Italian too, will she, will she win on appeal? She might. There's a possibility. Um, if Italy is ashamed enough of what it did, and, and that's going to take some doing, because right now you mentioned anti-Americanism. There is a feeling that she is the classic American seductress. I'm putting that in quotes. And, that, and she's been called in the newspapers a vampire, a praying mantis. And these are all forms of anti-Americanism. So she might win on appeal, but it will take a lot of influence. I gather they're trying to get Hillary Clinton in on it. And it's going to take a lot of clout, a lot of work, I'm afraid. Yes, she was asked yesterday by George Stephanopoulos, and she said so far she has not said anything to Italy about it. Senate, uh, Secretary Clinton did.